South Yorkshire. The gritters have been out. We've seen them on the road. And the forecast is this rain could turn to snow and that could lead to ice overnight. Dan, thanks very much indeed. And as ever, the very best place to keep in touch with the weather and travel is on your local radio station. Before seven o'clock. We'll be going underwater. Meet the monster of the deep <laughs> making ripples at the Sea Life Centre in Scarborough. Now, cast your mind back to last Friday's Look North as part of a feature about policing at Leeds University. We happened to film 19-year-old student Adam Dowden having a stroke. He was facing death or permanent disability. But because of the care of his friends and the policemen and the cutting-edge expertise of the medics, he was discharged from the Leeds General Infirmary and will return to his studies in a fortnight. Here with this exclusive story is our health correspondent, Penny Bustin. It's like plumbing, you know. <laughs> it is. You know, I have, yeah. what I've done is I've basically become a plumber and I just take this clot out. Yeah. It's just six days since Adam's potentially devastating stroke. His consultant, interventionist, neuroradiologist, explains how he took a large blood clot out of his brain and saved his life in this very room. This was the first year student on Friday morning. His friends alerted a security officer we were filming that they feared he was having a stroke. His speech was slurred, he couldn't raise his right arm. But luck was on his side. He was in the right place at the right time. At the nearby LGI was one of two doctors in the region trialling a new device to remove clots from the brain. This is what Adam had. He had a CT scan. This showed that there is a big clot in the left middle cerebral artery. Brain is still very good. So it shows that he's a very good candidate for interventional treatment. The last time Adam came in here, he was on a trolley. This is where we did the treatment. Yeah, sure. The procedure in, involves uh, general anaesthetic, and we puncture one of the blood vessels in the groin, and then navigate a catheter into the neck. We would negotiate small catheters into the area which is blocked, and then pull the clot out. And in Adam, we use the new device, which is we think is slightly better than the other one as the technology is getting better. The earlier we do, the quicker we do, the better is the result. It's the best thing I love doing. You know, we do a lot of complex procedures and a lot of patients, uh, despite treating them, they really don't go back to normal. And in a young man like Adam, he's 19 year old, imagine living with a stroke for the rest of his life. So that's the best thing we can do. So I think, you know, we were very pleased. If you suspect someone's having a stroke, you've got to act fast. F, face, if it's dropping on one side. A for their arms, they can't get them above their head. S for speech, and look out for slurred. And T, time, time to call an ambulance. And that recognition is what saved Adam. Penny Bustin, BBC Look North, Leeds General Infirmary. Yeah, it's good to see he's doing well. The Unite Union says it's concerned over plans to make 79 World Pay employees in Harrogate redundant. The company, which was formerly part of the Royal Bank of Scotland, was sold off in December 2010 as a result of the...